Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to change the file size of an image in Photoshop. It's pretty simple. There's two ways to do it. Uh, the first way is to change the quality of the image upon export. When you export a photo in Photoshop, you have a choice of the quality that you want to export it at. And that ranges from 1 to 12, 12 being the highest possible quality and then 1 being super low quality. And then the other more dramatic way to change the file size of, of your finished photo file will be to change the actual size of the image itself. And that is by reducing the amount of pixels that are in the image. And then to make the smallest possible file size, you're going to want to be doing both of these things, reducing the actual size of the photo and reducing the quality of the photo. And then I'll show you the best settings to do those things without any very noticeable quality change in the final image. So you open up your photo in Photoshop and for reference, the photo right now is 16.6 megabytes. So we're going to try and reduce that. The first method is file save as. Click save, and here's the gauge I was talking about. It goes from 12 down to zero. Actually, right here, you can see the size of the image as you reduce the size here. It's gonna be 16.8 megabytes to start. And I've saved a bunch of these and I've tried all of the numbers here. I've found that your best return on investment is about seven. That's where you get the smallest file size, but you retain almost all of the quality of the image. You can't readily tell that it's been reduced in quality. Once you start getting below seven, that's when you're gonna start seeing like banding in the skies or like darks. Any colors that are like a gradient, you're gonna start to see banding and they're not gonna flow together well and it's just gonna look bad. So I wouldn't really go below seven unless you're making a really small image like a thumbnail or something where you don't really care and it doesn't, and it's gonna be small anyway so you won't be able to tell. Anyway, so we'll try that size seven. And then now you can see, so the original size was 16.6 megabytes. And now your new size image is a three megabytes. It's much smaller now, but still there's something we can do. So right now these images are the exact same size. They're huge. They're 6,000 pixels wide. So when you open this up and you see the full size of the image, it's still a massive image. So this is like three feet, three or four feet wide. Like in, in, in reality, if you printed this out, it'd be like three feet wide. This is from a camera. So if you don't want an image that big, like if you're posting this to a website or Instagram or something, you're going to want to change the size of the actual image. And then when you do that, that's actually going to reduce the file size dramatically. So that's going to help you out a lot too. To do that, you're going to go to image, image size. So right now it's 6,000 pixels wide. So if you just highlight that and delete that, say we're going to reduce that by half, type in 3000 here, click enter. And now your image is going to be much smaller, though it is still a huge image. Don't get me wrong. 3000 pixels is very big, still a very large image. So if you want to do anything like that, if you're making a thumbnail or something, you're going to you're going to want to reduce that image size even smaller, maybe like 2000 or 1000. We'll leave that at 3000 as it is. And now when you export this, save as size seven and three pixels, save. And now when you reduce that to a quality of seven as well, now your new image is only one megabyte now. So you just went from 16.6 .6 megabytes down to one megabyte so you divided the size of this by like 16 and then when you open this this is the new super small image right it doesn't really look any different it's it's smaller it's half the size but if you don't need a massive wall poster this is going to be the best way to reduce the file size of your image all right guys so hopefully that helped you out a little bit see you later